In these next few videos I'll be showing you how to make your own paper with scraps of recycled paper that you can find around your house. Here's loads of different examples of the kind of paper you can make and how it can end up being different colours, different textures with lots of different objects in. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a frame like this. So you can make them out of lots of different things, so that last one was made out of netting, this one's muslin which is a little bit trickier to work with, this is a really loose wire mesh a tighter wire mesh and this one's a more kind of traditional paper making screen that works best for this but if you've got any of those things around your house you can use them and then you just need a frame so with paper making you need a decal and frame so I tend to get two frames of the same kind of size and I kind of aim for A4 size and on one piece you're going to get whatever you're using so I'm using paper making mesh at the moment so it's just a really kind of nice like synthetic material where stuff doesn't stick to it all that much whereas some other things like the muslin that can be quite tricky to use and all of your paper can get really stuck whereas this should come away quite easily this world is Whichever material you're using and put it around your frame and you're going to want a staple gun for this as well. So make sure it's stretched out and you want it to be tight as a drum when it's all done. Fold your material over the top, get your staple gun and I would do at least three staples on each side of your frame. When you do the next bit I would kind of pull it tight and as well I often find it helps to fold over the material a little bit, just gives it a little bit more strength so it's less likely to break in the future. Keep doing that around all of the other sides. Trim your fabric down, leaving a good few centimetres around the edge. Fold it all in, always do some little staples on the corners as well, and just make sure it's really, really tight. Turn it over and do some staples on the other side as well. This is to stop bits of paper as you're making it getting stuck underneath that bit of the frame and it just makes it that little bit stronger as well. I quite like to put duct tape over the top as well, you don't have to do this, but it just gives it a little bit extra protection and it stops those staples from going rusty because we're going to be using loads of water with this. So I would do it around the top and kind of the sides of it as well, just make sure that you really really smooth it down. So the bit we're working on at the moment is the decal and you can buy these pre-made but they're often incredibly expensive so I always think it's best to make your own and these work really well anyway and that way you can make them to any size so you can use any frame that you've got around your house. I got my paper making mesh from a website called Specialist Craft but you can use all sorts of things so you can use netting if you want and in the next video I'll go over kind of how this works in comparison to that and show you some different paper made with different frames. I would do this on the other side as well just so it's really really secure and just stops the water getting into the frame. As well as stopping the staples going rusty this will stop the rest of your frame getting mouldy if it can't dry off quickly enough.
So that's it for this video. In the next one I'll be showing you how to make the paper itself. So for that you'll want one of these frames, another matching frame that can sit on top of it, a big vat that you can have water in, so I'd recommend just like a big plastic storage tub or something like that. So it's something that will sit on like that. And then you're going to need a load of little scraps of paper, so kind of like this sort of thing, and a blender. And we'll go over the rest next time. Thank you, bye!